Well, recently you announced that there will be 5G coverage over half of Singapore by yeah. the year 2022. Uh, just to make a comparison, uh, 5G will be uh, 20 to 100 times faster uh, than 4G? Yes, it'll be 20 times or so faster, theoretical maximum mm -hmm. speeds, yes, much faster. And uh, can you tell us how our lives will change with 5G? So, you know, when you talk about all these technologies, it's always a little bit esoteric. You know, everybody wonders, what does 5G mean exactly and how it's going to make a difference? So, think But we it. do know about the downloading speeds. That's exactly right, <laughs> you see. So, so people start with that, you know, how quickly you can download a video that you yeah. want to watch of a movie. And, you know, so 5G, obviously, you're going to be able to download your videos a lot faster than if you're doing it in 4G. But that's not our motivation, actually, for doing this. Although, from the, for the average consumer, you see, because 5G means uh, you can have much higher data flow rates, it also means you can support a lot more sensors and devices, uh, you know, in, in locations. You can do, you know, a million devices, you know, and the intensity is so much higher. So all these things, it enables completely new areas. For consumers, downloads and the experience is one thing. Gaming is another big area people talk about, mobile gaming and so on. So that's why, say, Razer is working with uh, Singtel to to do one of these, uh, you know, what we call uh, end-use efforts, you know, end-user sort of uh, trials to see what we can do there. But actually, the more significant area is the impact it can have on industry and therefore what uh, benefits we derive uh, as, uh, you know, people in the economy and in the country. So I'll give you an example. You know, we talk about autonomous vehicles, but autonomous vehicles have got a lot of devices and they need to talk to sensors and they're processing information, you know, at incredible speeds because they need to know whether there's an obstacle, whether there's, you know, any hindrance that they need to avoid, etc. and so on. Now, if you want to do this, you, you need a mobile system like 5G, which allows much faster data flow and also what they call the latency. In other words, the lag between the time that you get the information and the time you can react and so on. So all of these things make a huge difference. So if you want to have a smarter transportation system, which will benefit all our citizens, 5G can help. If you want to have a smarter manufacturing floor, factory floor with you know equipment, automation and so on, can 5G makes a difference? And I can go on like that. So the key point is 5G has the potential to make our work more efficient and productive. It has the potential to make our lives much better in terms of the services we receive and enjoy. But it needs work because it's a new technology and it is something where we are working with the industry now to curate the solutions because this is the key thing. And so whilst we work on the supply side, on the infrastructure, we're working on the demand side with the companies. So PSA is working, for example, with some of the telcos because the new PSA port can have almost complete automation of the AGVs. So imagine the, the workers will now be controlling these automatic vehicles, automated vehicles from remote locations. But to do that, you need the 5G technology.